When we start with a function f of x and we take its derivative, f prime of x is also a function. And so really we could continue to take the derivative um, by just taking the derivative of our new function f prime of x. So doing this sort of process gets us into what we call higher order derivatives. So here um, we have as our first derivative um, the function f prime of x. Okay, so um, notationally, we could have also said uh, d dx of the function f. Okay, and so this, I would just want to show you um, kind of the different sort of notations that we need to equate. That d dx is kind of a, a set of directions. It's saying take the derivative with respect to the variable x of what follows it, and what follows it there is f. So that would be the derivative of f, which we're more familiar with the f prime of x notation at this point, but utilizing the ddx kind of operator notation is also something that we need to um, get familiar with too. So we have that first derivative. So next we would have the second derivative. And the nice prime notation is instead of utilizing a single prime, we'd utilize uh, a double prime there. And that would be the second derivative notation. Um, what we are talking about here as far as this ddx sort of notation is it's listed as d2 uh, dx squared, like that. Um, that's the operator that says take the derivative twice of what follows, and what follows there would be f. So that operator notation is saying take the derivative twice with respect to x both times of the function f. Uh, we could also say take the derivative just once of not the function f, but rather the function one step above it. So the second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. And so that is clearly stated using operator notation as d dx of f prime. Okay? And we can continue on with this pattern as long as we'd like. Um, in general, the nth derivative we would write um, using kind of this prime notation, we don't want to have to count lots and lots of primes. I mean, counting one, two, maybe three primes is not too difficult. But getting much higher than that, counting the number of primes is not practical. And so what we do instead is we use in parentheses um, the, if it's the nth derivative, we use the, the in parentheses n, and that's a superscript there because we still have of x indicating that our function there that we're dealing with is, um, has the variable x. Using this operator notation, um, we would still have this dn dxn is telling us the nth derivative with respect to x each time of the original function f. Okay. Now, following the pattern, it would also be just taking the derivative of one step above. So one step above would be f um, to the, and then it would be in parentheses because it's indicating a derivative, not a power, uh, in minus 1. So if we take the n minus first derivative and take its derivative one more time, we get the next one, which would be the nth derivative. And so this uh, sort of setup and this sort of notation is something that is going to come up as we continue um, that just needed to be introduced at this point.